For every one officer, there's typically 50 enlisted. There's so many different avenues you could take, whether submarine or surface, or even you want to be a pilot. I'm from Marshalltown, Iowa. So I was a small town guy, you know, knew nothing about the ocean, never saw the ocean in my life. You need to start from the bottom and get all the way to the top to be successful. And you can do that through different routes. The officer ones are based off careers, like doctor, dentist, pilot. They have higher education, leadership, and specialty skills. I'd say there's about three different ways to become an officer. You could either obtain your degree in your specialty, and then you could apply to commission as an officer. Officer Development School, it's a five-week program geared towards typically medical professionals and our legal professionals. Officer Candidate School is a 13-week program for college graduates with a bachelor's or master's degree seeking to become a naval officer. Naval ROTC is going to be the next program. These are colleges throughout the entire country. If you are a senior or a junior in high school, you can start applying for scholarship programs through the Navy. You're given the opportunity to go to college like a normal student while taking military classes, and then upon your completion of education, you're commissioned as an officer. Or you could go enlisted and obtain a little bit of education and experience and apply to become an officer while already in the military. Some of the best officers that I've met were actually prior enlisted. Another way to become an officer is to go to the Naval Academy for college after high school, where you can commission in a variety of fields like surface warfare, submarine warfare, or aviation. One of the common questions or misconceptions is that you can walk into a recruiting station and ship out the next day. It is not quite like that. If you're doing a student program and you are in your fourth year of your undergrad, you're going to be at least a year before we even commission you into that program. What they're looking for is characteristic traits for your ability to accomplish the task, your ability to think quickly, your ability to lead a team. And we're a very tight-knit community. We're like a family. Now, 13 years later, here I am, standing on officer deck, driving a warship. I have about 380 sailors at any given time, standing up on the bridge, landing helos, where you're just like out there with that level of responsibility, with all those people depending on you. You gotta be open to ideas, you gotta be open to listening, and you gotta believe that everyone's there for the same purpose.